Hi everyone, my name is Chris and I'm talking to you from the Finlayson Field Center, one of the places where I work. I'm surrounded by forest and field, natural spaces, and I'm used to working outdoors with students who come to visit us. Right now that's not happening, but we thought it would be fun for you to come on field trips with me here at Finlayson virtually. So every week, I'm going to send you video or we're going to do live field trips and we're going to explore this place. That's the Finlayson building, the nature center. And you can see it's surrounded by forest. And as I turn the camera and look this way, I am actually looking towards the stream hidden down here along this path that I will take. We're going to come to the river. Now, as I said, we, we don't have uh, students here right now, so it's been pretty quiet, although there's been a lot of animal activity. And I'm hoping to be able to show you some of that as well. Let's get to the river here so you can see. There we are, there's the water. So this little stream is actually called Shaw's Creek. And it's a tributary of the Credit River, which really uh, flows through your community. It begins further to the north of us here at a small lake called Caledon Lake and flows south all the way down to Lake Ontario. And the mouth of the Credit River is uh, actually at Port Credit, which some of you may be familiar with. Today I thought it would be fun to spend some time at our bird feeders. Ms. Gibson and I were talking about some of the things that you could do as a class in your community, in your schoolyard. You have that great natural space right beside the track and uh, surrounding that open field. So it's a place where you could put bird feeders potentially. Our feeders are set out here at the front of our building. It allows us to observe the birds as they fly in to eat the seeds. We fill them every day. They go through the seeds pretty quickly and the seeds that we are putting in our feeders are called black oil sunflower seeds. And this is what they look like. You'll be familiar with those, I'm sure. Um, not the ones we typically eat. The ones we usually eat are the ones with the stripes. But these are very, very good for the birds and other animals that may uh, try to get to the seed as well but there's lots of, lots of oil in them, lots of protein for them. And there's one of our little friends there. The birds at these feeders are quite used to us now because we have the feeders set up in the apple tree right beside our front doors. So it's great to stand and observe and uh, make some notes. We do some nature drawings and things like that as well. So really great to have that opportunity just to see them going about what they usually would in a day. Something that we do here as well that's really fun, you can bring them in a little closer. You can see this little one trying. If you put some seed in your hand and if you wait patiently, just hold your hand high and flat so they can see what's here. they will come closer. They learn to trust us and they'll land on our hand and take a seed, as you just saw. That was a chickadee.
So over the next several weeks, I hope to continue sending you videos and taking you on these virtual field trips. I invite your questions, your comments, your ideas. You might see something in these videos that really sparks your interest or makes you wonder, I can help you with that. Please send along those questions or ideas that you may have and we can explore together. I really hope that one day you will be able to come to the Finlayson Center in person. But until that time, I'm here to help you to experience it, experience it virtually for now. And I hope you do continue though to take your studies outdoors at Applewood. It's a great spot and you don't have to be at a spot like this in the middle of a forest to experience nature. It is always there for us. So no matter where you are, step outside, look up, take in the sky above, the ground below, a few deep breaths and enjoy the beauty of nature all around us. So hope to talk to you soon. Take care and bye for now.